All right, Our, we have a presentation now from the other seated WesterCon. That's next year's WesterCon, WesterCon 68. And here to talk, tell us about it is uh, Ron Oaks. Okay, am I getting picked up? Okay, yeah, very close. Close to the mic. Swallow. You have to eat this mic, even though I've always been taught never to eat a mic. Right. Okay, uh, WesterCon 68 is, will be July 2nd through 5th. Uh, same, the 4th of July weekend next year in San Diego. Our facility is the Golden Pacific Ballroom in the Royal Palm Tower of the Town and Country Hotel. Uh, this is not the, the part of the Town and Country that is used by most of the local San Diego conventions. That is the Regency Ballroom area. This is the area that was used for the 2011 West, uh, World Fantasy Convention. The function space that we are currently have set up to use is on two levels with a actual functional normal elevator. Uh, there are, you know, there are paths or can you get around if you cannot navigate steps. My disa disabled services person over there, Nolly, knows her way around that hotel on wheels quite well. Hotel room rates are my bifocals fail me. Uh, 119 single double, and they go up uh, 129 one for triple and 139 for quad. Parking is five dollars a day. The hotel is located or is directly connected by a bridge to the Fashion Valley Transit Center and the Fashion Valley Mall. Fashion Valley Transit Center is located on the uh, MTS Trolley Green Line, which will connect directly to downtown San Diego. Uh, the final stop is the uh, final stop is 12th and Imperial. That includes the gas lamp stop and the county center Little Italy stop are on that line, which means you have trolley access to the restaurants at in Little Italy and at um, and in the gas lamp district. Also there are a number of restaurants at Fashion Valley plus three restaurants on site. Uh, four restaurants if you count the Sunshine Deli, which is kind of a takeout counter. Uh, we are... Oh, and their light rail uses the same crate. Hey, yeah, the light, rail, the light rail is the same system. Buy a ticket or hope you don't get caught. And all the trains are accessible. Yeah, all the trains, or at least all the trains are accessible. All the trains on the green line are the low floor trains, which means you don't have to try to get to the one entrance to the train where the ramp is going to come down. The, what's it say? Oh, we are combined with Conjecture, which is San Diego, one of San Diego's two annual science fiction conventions. This will be Conjecture, in addition to WesterCon 68, it'll be Conjecture 13. Our Conjecture guest of honor is Stephen Bruce. So we will have, in addition to the WesterCon guest of honor, Spider Robinson, John Picasso, Shauna McGuire is our fan guest of honor, William F. Nolan as a special guest. We are at its Stephen Bruce as our conjecture guest of honor. And we're also combined with Concord. We will be Concord 27. That's the Southern California Filk Convention. And our Filk guests are Vixie and Tony. And our, I keep having to look up our, our inner Filk guests are Morva Bowman and Alan Pollard from Canada. So, concert, oh yes. We are plant. We do have scheduled a concert. We don't know if it'll be Friday night or Saturday night yet. Uh, it will feature Spider Robinson, Stephen Bruce, Sean and McGuire, and Vixie yeah. and Tony. <laughs> so, yes. Oh, memberships. Memberships are currently fifty-five dollars attending, fifteen dollars supporting. Attending memberships and the upgrades to supporting memberships are discounted $5 if you buy them at the table right out there until the end of this convention. Uh, any questions? Questions? So I just wanted to say, having been to the town and country many times, um, unless you have some reason you know you want to use a car, it's best to just take the hotel shuttle. Uh, not by the <coughs> shuttle, it's, I forget what the name of the shuttle service is, but there's a decent, fairly inexpensive shuttle from the airport to the town and country, and then you can generally get 
get around to everything you might want to sightsee off the train. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Uh, that. Thank you for the point. I forgot. Yes, there is the uh, super shuttle, I believe, express that is very, connects to a lot of San Diego from the airport. I believe there are a couple other shuttle services. We will uh, certainly by the time PR3 or certainly by PR4 comes out, we will have the information on the shuttle services and on the website so you'll know which one to get. If you really would rather try to fight on public transportation, there is a, a bus line, I believe it is actually a free bus that connects the airport to the Santa Fe Depot and then you can take the trolley. However, I would recommend taking the shuttle to the hotel. Another question in the back? Well, I just wanted to say this is also the same hotel and same convention center side as the 1986 Western Con. Yes, Asian that, Con. yeah, this, this is the site of the largest Western Con ever held, which was the 1986 Western Con in San Diego, and it was did use that same facility. Uh, well, do you want to follow, are you following on from that, Joe? Or is it something new? It's a new question. Okay, then I want to take the question in front. Thank you. Yes. Do you know if the Padres will be in town? I we do not know the Major League Baseball schedule yet. <laughs> Based on information that I am not at liberty to disclose, I would say it is probably somewhat reasonable that they may be making a home stand during at least part of that week. I can tell you this. Just mention Comic Con. Yeah. And Comic Con, they will not be there, so the likelihood is that, yeah. that they will not be there for Comic Con, which is coming up shortly after our convention. We are not at liberty to disclose exactly no. when. Uh, yes, yes, you can. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's been, been announced? announced? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Comic Con's week after. No. Yeah, Comic Con, San Diego Comic Con, I guess it is now, we can disclose yes. that <laughs> San Diego Comic Con for 2015 will be the very next weekend. <laughs> Two important points related to that. One, if you wish to stay at the town and country, they will extend the rate up until the point at which they must charge you the Comic-Con rate and go through the Comic-Con booking. Two, this means that you will, if you are interested in both and can get tickets to Comic-Con, it will be very feasible to stay through for both. And they also mentioned yeah, and Comic-Con does have, if, for Comic-Con, if you are staying at the town and country, there's both the free shuttle and the trolley. So there's two ways to get from there to the, down to the gas lamp. All right, now we'll take the follow-on, or the additional question. So I've been to the town and country at least 10 times for other conferences um, that were about three and 4,000 people in size. We certainly will not be cramped in the town and country. I'm assuming they're probably going to ramp Give half of it to someone else, and how are you going to give me that out there? At this point, we have the, yeah, he is asking that if the, because the town and country has additional convention area on the west side where we will be, how will it be divvied up? At this point, we have the Golden Pacific ballroom area. The, there is one additional meeting room next to that. Plus, we have at least two rooms, and we'll probably attempt to get the rest of the meeting house. We are hoping that if, if nobody else does book the Atlas Ballroom area, we're hoping we can move into some closer space. At this point, uh, Ron, are you aware of anybody who's booked that weekend? I'm not aware of it. Okay. So a year, a, as of a year out, nobody has booked that weekend. Given the fact it is the holiday weekend, there's a reasonable likelihood that nobody's going to book it. I won't guarantee that. And Comic Con may scare people away. <laughs> yeah. Which actually works uh, in our favor. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, because Comic Con does use part of that Atlas ballroom area for their, some of their off site functions. Did you have another one, Joan? Okay. Uh, any other questions for WestCon 68? Okay. Thank you very much. And that